Hey friends, it is me Alana. Welcome back to my channel. For this video, we are going to be doing my summer TBR. So if you're new, I do seasonal TBRs along with monthly TBRs because I just think it's kind of fun. TBRs are probably like my favorite videos to make because I love talking about books I'm wanting to read or I want to try to read. So for this year, I changed up my TBR style and actually created a jar of prompts that I use to help me choose books to read from my own TBR. So usually I will pull out some prompts and then I will go find some books to fit those prompts and then let you know what I'll be reading. So I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling some prompts and then we can figure out books that I'll be focusing on this summer. We'll go from the top here. So this one is, oh, read a thriller mystery book. So um, that's exciting. I have a a few I could pick from. We're gonna go in the middle here. Choose this one. A fantasy romance that Monet has read. It's funny, Monet is the queen of fantasy romance. She's gotten me into a few the past few months, which I have loved. So I'm excited for this. Definitely have a few that I've bought because of her that I have not read yet. Let's see if we can reach the bottom. <laughs> okay, so this one is Scroll Bookstagram and read the first book that you see that you own. So I'll do that in a second. And I think I'll pick two more prompts from my jar. Okay. Let's see, we're gonna go here. A book that I bought based off the cover. Ooh, I have a few of those, so. And then the last prompt I'm gonna do from the middle here. And lastly, read a book from a fave genre. Alright, let me go pick these books and I will be right back. Alrighty, so I am back with my picks. So we'll start with the books that I picked out and then we'll do the Instagram challenge afterwards. First prompt we picked was a mystery thriller book. So for that one, I chose A Curious Beginning by... Deanna Rayborn. I've heard interesting things about this. It's a historical mystery and it sounded really intriguing so I went ahead and just grabbed it from the things that I heard from other people and we're gonna go from there. I don't want to read the synopsis because I feel like mysteries when you read the synopsis it kind of maybe spoils the mystery a little bit so I kind of want to go in without knowing much and I want you to go in without knowing much too. And then next we had book I bought based off the cover. So for that one, I actually bought The Candle and the Flame by Nafiza Azad. I literally bought this based off the cover because it's so pretty and I really loved it. So here I am. I'll read you the synopsis though. So a girl with the fire of a Ginny, a city scarred by violence. Fatima lives in the city of Noor, a thriving stop along the Silk Road. There the music of myriad languages fills the air and people of all faiths thread their lives together. However, the city bears scars of its recent past when the chaotic tribe of Shayatin, Jin, just slaughtered its entire population except for Fatima and two other humans. Now ruled by a new Maharaja, Noor is protected from the Shayatin by Ifrit, Jin of order and reason and th by their command Zulfikar. But when one of the most potent of the Ifrit dies, trouble brews and Fatima is changed in ways she cannot fathom, ways that scare even those who love her. Wad in hand, uh, Fatima is drawn into the intrigues of the Maharaja Mara and his sister, the affairs of Zulfikar and the Jin, and the dangers of a magical battlefield. That sounds really intriguing. Um, sorry if I butchered any of those words. But I'm, I'm here for it. And again, this cover is beautiful. But next we had a book from a fave genre. So I've been really feeling fantasy lately. So I actually went ahead and chose Queen of the Tearling by Erica Johansson. So I've been wanting to read this for a while. I think I bought this like a year or two ago. Because it definitely sounded intriguing. Um, it's kind of about a lost princess who has to fight for her kingdom back basically i believe so i'm here for it and i'm willing to i'm excited to give this a chance because i've heard it's a really good fantasy book for beginners and i'm 
I don't know if I would count myself as a beginner anymore, but I still want to check it out and see if it's one I would enjoy. And then the next prompt I had was a fantasy romance that Monet has read. And so I believe the next one she was trying to get me to read was A Fate of Wrath and Flame by K.A. Tucker. So as I have it, this will be the one that I pick up. I don't know what this is about. I'm gonna be completely honest with you and I'm gonna just go in without knowing what it's about because I trust Monet that much um, with her fantasy romance. And I did the same thing with like Guild and I absolutely I absolutely loved it. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one as well. <laughs> so let's see, we're gonna do the little bookstagram challenge. I'll make sure to record my screen so y'all can see it too. All right, so let's see, that's definitely not a book. That's in a book. Oh, Penguin Teen. Do I own any of these? Um, I don't know if these count. Does a publisher count? I don't know. Let's scroll. Let's scroll and see. Blue Book Lovers. I'm already reading that. I already read that though. Ooh, what's here? Let's see. Paperbacks are hardcovers. Pride of the Orange Tree. I don't own that one. All right, well, I own the Starless Sea, so I guess that'll be my pick. I don't know, should publishers count? Should publisher Instagram accounts count? Because if so, then I gotta go back up. Um, let's see. Okay, you know what? We're gonna count Penguin Tween because I just decided to do that. Um, we're gonna count Penguin Tween. I scrolled through their list and I actually own the arc for Beasts of Ruin because um, I've already read Beasts of Prey and that's the first one I came across that I own. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna do that. That's gonna be gonna be the pick. Gonna be gonna be the moves for for this for this one. So I'm excited. I'm gonna be honest. I do not like these new covers for Beasts of Prey. I kind of liked the old covers better. Um, but we're gonna go with it. I'm excited because I really enjoyed Beasts of Prey. Um, so I'm definitely intrigued to see where they go next with the story. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. So those are my summer reads. We'll go back through. So I got, um, Beasts of Ruin, The Ark, um, A Fate of Wrath and Flame, uh, The Queen of the Tearling, uh, The Candle and The Flame, and A Curious Beginning. So, I really love this. I love these picks. I like that they're all paperback. <laughs> um, I believe these are actually all maybe backlist titles too, so I really kind of enjoy that except for uh, Beasts of Ruin. So, I'm here for this. I think this will be a fun, fun time. So, Thank you all for watching. Um, let me know some books you're going to be trying to read this summer or maybe some that are coming out this summer that you're really excited about. I would love to know um, and maybe get some books on my radar. Uh, if you like the video, please like it down below. If, if you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave all that in the comment section below. If you're not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji. Leave me like a summer-based emoji, something that reminds you of summer because uh, I don't know, I love summer. It's my favorite season. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You are awesome flowers in the world full of leads. <laughs>